All right, guys, welcome back to Stone Block 2. I say welcome back because we are redoing the whole thing. I know it's crazy, right? It is ridiculous. Uh, I also really enjoyed playing Stone Block 2, so I figured we'd just give it another shot. Uh, but, guys, to get started, we are first going to need to punch some pebbles. We're going to need to place our pet rock. I guess we can call him Rocky. Uh, we will claim some rewards. And uh, it, uh, we're going to make some cobblestone. Yes, the good cobblestone. Uh, we're going to make some cobblestone parts, and then that will allow us to make a cobblestone chesticle or something like this. Some weird chesticle. And then we're going to make a stone crafting table, and we're going to need to place that stone crafting table right in front of our stone chesticle. We're going to need to get some digging going, and we're going to need to make a hammer. We're also going to need to make a crook, and we're going to need to turn some cobble into gravel. And gravel in the dirt. Then we're going to need to crook that dirt in the way not at all. And we're going to have to make some more dirt. And that's how we made it here. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, that was kind of fun. Uh, but yes, we do have our tree farm kind of going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and punch this out here. Make this look a little interesting. Okay. And look at that. We got trees growing already. Cool beans. All right, so we got our little, we got our little uh, pet rock here. He made a, a comeback from the first uh, stone block, and eventually, are the first stone block two series. We're gonna mirror this, so like this will be the epicenter of our base now. Uh, I want to have four wings, basically. That's gonna be a little bit different because uh, in our last stone block two series, we went by a three by three, and this will just be four. So uh, this will probably be tree farm stuff like that. It'll, it'll, it'll get a lot bigger. Uh, I might have to push this back a few blocks. Uh, make the tunnel a little bit longer but that's how it's going to be on each side and each one is going to be a different thing and then here down in the middle um i would like to get into applied energistics at one point i believe it's in this pack or 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 it's not, uh, yeah it's in this pack and we're going to put it all around the this here and an elevator will be right here in the middle so it'll be pretty neat so i've got some of this made up we need to go ahead and keep mining the trees or not mining oh yeah mining the trees uh, but I, oh, you can't do that, can you? Oh, well. So let me grab my stone crook. Oof. And if you sprint, it's the same thing as the shifting. But we don't seem to be growing very fast. All right, cool beans. And look at that, we have... Oh, we got caught in a tree. We have 31. Now we have a lot more. Uh, but let's go ahead and make up some. We're going to make up some wood. Okay. Eh, you know what? We'll make up a few of these. Okay. Here, like so. Make some basic drawers. Perfect. So we're going to put all of our cobblestone in this, and then we're going to put our wood in that, and we'll put our saplings in here, and then our, our oak wood will go in there. Let's go ahead and sprint around just a little bit more again. Oh, I'm hitting cap locks. <laughs> Talk about s sticky keys, huh? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll use the dirt to mine down the tree. That makes perfect logical sense, right? And good to go. Sweet. All right, cool beans. And I believe if we cook these, yeah, we get the cooked apples, which is a great food source for early in the game and even later in the game. Remember in our last series, uh, I used cooked food all the way up until the end, and that was it was amazing. It was amazing. So let's see here what's next in the quest book. Uh, so, 16 of any wood. Perfect. We got it. Ooh, ender tanks. Amazing. That is awesome. Let's go ahead. Make up some chests. Okay. I'm going to do that, and then we'll upgrade them once we get into the iron and stuff like that. This will be our chest wall for now. Again, this is all going to get moved. We didn't get stuck that time. Awesome. 
Let's have a look here. Yep, cooked apples. Do they still have a good... Oh, yes. They're still great. Okay, cool. So let's see. What is next in the quest book? I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to switch it because normally my food is at that very end. Tinkering. Okay, so we get into the Tinker's Construct. I don't really want to get into that right now. Do we have any silkworms? We do. Cool. How many of these do we need before we start placing? Silkworm and then string. Okay, so we can start placing these guys. Cool. And the cool thing is if we get into a pinch with food, we can actually eat these silkworms. Oh, look at that tree. We just run around. We're going to make more food for our silkworms, which is pretty neat to think about. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Grow, I say. I say grow. You know you want to. I don't know why I've developed an accent. It's not even like good one. It's like a wannabe Arnold accent. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry, all of you beautiful people. Okay, so we're going to let that grow up there. Uh, do we have enough wood to even start the tinker stuff? Uh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Let's see. We do have something for here. Oh, yep, we got that random basic flux storage. Cool. This will be a good source of early power or power storage uh, once we get into that stuff. And I plan on doing things quite a little similar to our last playthrough. But I want to like have everything refined because last time it wasn't really all that refined. Like I want to do chickens with you guys. I feel like I did that off camera, and almost like I want to install the replay mod and then do like a lot of work off camera or like in a live stream or something like that, and have the replay mod playing. And that way, we are um, that I could like that'll be part of like a time lapse or something like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty neat. Yep, so those are all getting infected. I won't do one for a few episodes just because you know, we're starting the series out, and I want it to be good. Okay. So back to here, tinkers. So we need just the basic stuff. I think we can actually make it. Let's see here. Well, we're going to need one of these. Um, let's go ahead and get two of them so we can make up a chesticle. We'll need that. We'll need one of these logs. We can turn the rest of these into that. Okay. Okay, so we have these. So if you put this over here, you get pattern. Put this over this. Stencil table. This. This. Boom. And then I think it's just this and this, right? Yep. All right, that should be it. Tinkering is done. Perfect. Okay. Entity detector. Hmm. Output redstone. Ooh, that's cool. So we can have like a storage thing. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll find a use for that. Um, but let's go ahead. Do I have any more torches yet? I'm going to make up four more because I'm going to expand this room out. All right, so if you guys did see, our, our tool did end up breaking at the very end there. Unfortunately, it's kind of saddening because it means we can't really do any more excavation for a little bit. Uh, we'll have to get into uh, Ex Nilio and all that, but that what that means is that we can go ahead and make a new crook, or two new crooks, and we can get some string. Yeah. Silk Road. That's pretty neat. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and do that. We will put the wood in here. So there we go. Perfect. And in here, we're going to go ahead, part builder here, stencil table, and then tool station. And I built this all over by a couple blocks, but oh well. Oh, and this needs to be over here by that guy. Oh well, sorry. You have to deal with it. Let's put those in there. We'll come back in a second. 
Okay, so we have this string made up, so let's go ahead and collect that quest. Another climbing up. These things end up killing me, so I, I need to get rid of them out of my inventory. Okay, so mining dimension. Uh, so this one, you just mine up as high as you can. World has no ores. It is entirely made of stone. The only way to find ores is to dig your way up to the top. Go world would be teleported to the mining dimension that is full of ores. CJ. Okay, so we're not going to go that way. We're actually going to go the sieve way for now. So let's go ahead and try to knock this out. So string mesh should be easy. Yep. String mesh. Good. And then we're going to need one slab, I think. Come up like this. And a sieve. All right, so the reason I remember that is because I have made quite a few of these, especially in the previous uh, Stone Block 2. If you guys haven't seen that series, I highly recommend checking out. We did a lot of cool stuff there. All right, let's go ahead and actually break this. Oh, and then we're going to mine this below. Perfect. And then this is where we're going to place the torch right underneath this guy. So that no baddies can spawn. Okay, so what we need to do, we can actually sift gravel here, like just like so, and we've got ores for it. As you can see, we're starting to get stuff. It's a very slow process. The more of these you have, the better it is, trust me. So I'm going to make up another uh, couple of these. I think I want to have a total of nine. So three by three. So let me finish this one up. And we got tin, we got some iron, so pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up uh, eight more of those and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, we do have our three by three here. So we have a total of nine of these sieves and we're gonna go ahead and, and my, or do the gravel thing and hopefully we'll get enough iron. As you can see, we already have quite a bit coming in. It's a very efficient way to do this. I've, I'm always a big fan. I think we can go out two more, if I'm not mistaken, on each direction. So we'll have to give that a shot. It might only be one more. It might be four by four. Actually, no, it's a five by five is the most you can do. So yeah, two more in each direction. But as you can see here, we have 20 of these iron ore pieces. And if you craft them into two by two, now we have five of these. So let's go ahead and get these smelted up. And what we are going to do is we're going to make another chest for this room that we will house all of our ores in. So we're just going to put these right here. Like so, we'll, we'll turn them into a, a different type of chest later on. But this is where we'll put all of our ore pieces, like so. Including the flint, because you get flint in there. Flint is actually the next tier, because the, uh, so the, uh, the meshes here, these have tiers, as you can see. So we have flint, which will just, it'll increase the odds of getting the stuff out of it. And eventually, once we get up into iron we can actually start to get diamonds out of this and then after iron we'll use the diamonds and then it will be very uh, specific amount of materials we can get out of it so technically iron is the best for what we're going to be needing for a while um, but we can't really do any of that so now we have five iron ingots which is amazing let's see here okay so we got this another spawner changer we don't need any more of those we do not need any more all right, so heavy sieve and then an oak crucible. Um, this is what we will use to make water, and I think we're going to knock that out in the next episode. I hope you guys all had a fantastic time. I know I sure did, and I'm trying out a new intro for the series, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. I want to be doing that for like the stuff I did off camera. So anyways, guys, I hope you do enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been the Super Turtle and the Pet Rock. I hope, hope you have a great day. I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.